Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to show you how to get that slick, smooth Samsung One UI home experience on any rooted Android device. We'll be doing this by installing the One UI Home 3.6 Magisk module. It's a fantastic way to get Samsung's launcher features without needing a Samsung phone. Let's dive right in. All right, the very first and most important step is to prepare your device. If you have any other One UI Home Magisk modules installed with a different name, you need to remove them first. Go into your Magisk app, head to the Modules section, and uninstall them. If you have an older version of this exact same module, you can usually just install the new one over it, but for a clean installation, it's always best to remove the old one. Okay? With your phone rebooted, we can start installing. The first module you need to flash is the One UI Core Magisk module. This is a mandatory dependency, and the main launcher module won't work without it. So, open your Magisk app, tap on Install from Storage, and locate the One UI Core module file you downloaded. Select it and let Magisk do its thing. Perfect! Now it's time to install the main event, the One UI Home 3.6 module. Just like before, stay in the Magisk app, tap Install from Storage, and find the One UI Home 3.6 module zip file. Select it and flash it. This process is the same if you're using the Kernel SU app. For those of you who prefer using a custom recovery, you can flash the zip file from there as well as long as you have Magisk installed. Hey, a quick and very important note for my Kernel SU users out there. You need to go into your Kernel SU app settings and make sure that the option Unmount Modules by default is off or disabled. If this option is enabled, the module won't work correctly after a reboot. Once the main module has been successfully installed, we are ready for the final step. Go ahead and reboot your phone one last time. And there we have it. As you can see, we are now running the beautiful and feature-packed Samsung One UI Home on our custom-rooted Android. If this guide helped you out, please give this video a big thumbs up, and if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe for more Android customization content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.